In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. in which we explore love, hate, and everything in between, in such a crazy meaning, and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Dick. I'm Chris. That was, that was quite seamless. That, that was, was pretty good. That was good, considering we were fucking about no. in the three seconds before you no. started talking. No. Only no. a 27th time. That might well. come in after the credits. You might put that in after the credits. Yeah, now, you're a TV fellow. Put it in after the credits. I'll put, oh, it, I'll put it after the credits. <laughs> but you're, but you're, you're a TV fellow, Chris Ray, don't I you? watch a lot of TV. Well, I, I believe you've also... you've. Get... I've worked on television. Well, <laughs> that's, that's why I was... Have you? I've been alive on television reading the football scores. That's amazing. I didn't on know BBC that. That One. doesn't really count as... Be, I mean, yeah, you were on. I was on television. You were on television. It was on television. Okay, but that's not okay. like working in television, which I think is what you were implying. Oh no, <laughs> that, that was that was strictly. A, I wrote them. You really, were on strictly. Yeah. Oh, big time. Oh, I was. Wow. I was the guy who looked a lot like Paul Daniels. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, Magic. Um, <laughs> Chris Ray appearing on uh, what was it called? Like the Sunday Sport Roundup. What's it called? Football of well, the day. All right, let's call it that. It's called, final, it's called Final Score. Final Score. Yeah. So this, this is, is a show on BBC One. This is a show on BBC One. This is years ago I did this. When right. I, was, I was about 16 and I'm 32 now. This is half my life ago. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wrote the BBC an email because they were doing this season where they had guest announcers of the football scores. Oh. So you'll hear football scores like Manchester United 2, Blackburn Rovers 1 and all right. this. So what he used that voice as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I, I did an impression of the bloke sitting right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> he did not like it. <laughs> did he <give> smack <laughs> right? Yeah. Cheeky son. Yeah, <laughs> smack me in the face. I didn't get to read the championship scores. Um, and I wrote them a very cocky email saying, oh, hello there. You may or may not have heard of me. <laughs> no, we definitely have 16 haven't. years old. My body of work includes... <laughs> nothing. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they, they phoned me and said, would you like to come in this weekend to read the football scores live on BBC One? Where did you have to go? London. Television oh. Centre. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I did. Cool. Yeah. I've living, got a tape of it somewhere. Living proof that if, you, if you're willing to ask, yeah. you'll probably get it. Yeah, if, if you bullshit your way through life, you'll do all right. Mm. That's the lesson there. So where was this going, John? You said. Well, but really, I was. Oh, what were we talking? I was going to say, like, we were asking about off, off camera, off mic, off mic, off air, and I was turning to you, a sports journalism graduate. Thank you. And I was going to say, is there some technical term for the person who warms up a live audience? Fluffer, hype man, <laughs> fluffer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> right, yeah. So it's kind of fluffer, yeah. Hype man. Yeah, a hype man. Hype man. Hype man. Because he's hype man. Because he's hype man. So like, even when they're doing like question time, they have. Uh, oh, I, I, yeah, I'd imagine so. They have like some kind. Of, How's everyone feeling tonight? Got some oh, great politics. Got some great Des- politics tonight. This fellow here, he, yeah. he uh, I can see he loves her. You love a laugh, don't you, sir? Yeah. <laughs> question, question time is the equivalent of panto these days, though. I can't imagine anything worse, to be honest. I don't think I've watched no, question time. No years. wonder Dimple be left. Bloody <laughs> hell! Who thought we get onto question time this quickly? Ah. Uh. Right? Oddly enough, there are two events uh, at my workplace uh, being organised by different groups that are using um, the phrase "like question time." That's not a selling point. No, no that's, that's really <laughs> bad. As in, like there are two night. I guess that that format oh. panels like uh, at the university at the university. Yes, right. uh, but kind of like organised by different groups and they just coincidentally I just wasn't been... listening to the first thing you said no I tend not to no. so then, and then I picked it up the second bit and then I got interested well, and I had to ask you to repeat yourself well, I listened to all of it thank you but you sure. just wasn't interested in any of it no, I, wasn't I was at least interested in half of what you said I don't have to be interested in what I listen to especially on this show you know exactly. that's why I don't listen to this show you know life is <laughs> Life in a fast lane, you sometimes you forget to appreciate the people who really make a difference yeah, in your life. Yeah. And I want you to know you are making a difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't doubt that. <laughs> I don't doubt it's, that. It's felt profoundly. Yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> Believe me, first thing on my mind when I know we have to record a new episode is like, oh, how am I going to control oh, this pest? Chris Ray will be there. An yeah. evening with Chris. That sure point. will. We well, can't... it's worth pointing out that this show fell apart when I went to America. Ah, oh, that's a stretch. Mm. <laughs> it didn't happen. It, well, I mean, it there's didn't that, happen. There's that's what you could say potentially the worst way for it to turn out. But you I know. don't know. Some people might have thanked us for, for the that. lack I mean, of shows. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's true. Or maybe we'll just 
just sit here in silence then. Find no, if that's what you want. <laughs> I received literally no messages asking, when's the show coming back? Mm. Zero. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? And yeah. yet here we are. It's more of a curse than a blessing. Well, we're kind of honoured to have a fan base so respectful of our work ethic that they wouldn't dream of chasing up. No, like no, not episode. at all. No. Oh, yeah. You barely ever hear Absolutely. from them. They're so we have a fan base. Well, I mean, it's a stretch again. You've used that word very... Um, Liberally. Li- li- thank you. I was, well, was going to say, I'm bloody going to say it. And he... Yeah, but I wanted the credit for saying yeah, it. Li- so liberally. Oh, uh, it's no good. Second hand now. It's a very nice glass of wine. wine. Mm. We're drinking, yeah. Mm. It's called like Bin 161. Is that pin, where they pin found on, it? Yeah, probably. Pinot something. That's <laughs> where <laughs> I found it. Pinot Gridge or something. It's a Pinot Grigio. It's a Pinot that's Grigio. It. Pinot Grigio. The alternative, which... I assume uh, that's how it's pronounced. The alternative to our, our, our drink this evening would have been the complimentary slash scaved bottle of fizzy wine is this from your event from my event yesterday I was at a grand opening Ooh. at my workplace yesterday it was an 11 hour day mm. but uh, we did talk about this but I can't remember oh it was something to do with business yes well the embargo was lifted now but some very oh, uh, so I didn't know there was an embargo no no well that's why I was being coy when we were I, talking about it beforehand I but, understand but no we had a a, a senior member of the current uh, government uh, came and opened who was that uh, it was the chancellor of the, Hammond. of the exchequer good lord good lord what indeed. a celeb I did not hear... How long was he there? Five minutes? Uh, yes. No, he was there for a few hours. Was he? At least he Fair flew enough. in. He flew in? Yeah. What, well, he I, landed in Cheltenham? Uh, no, well, he, he could just propel himself. It's, it's a fact <laughs> It's a fact that few people realise. <laughs> well, in, in that briefcase is actually a helicopter. It's actually... The, cha, 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 we were, it's not the Chancellor, he's the propeller of the exchange. No, right. We yeah. were joking. Oh, thank you. Thank God, that's you. good. I we got, that's, good. Well, that's a joke. You can take that one away. We were joking about... Um, like them accidentally leaving something behind. It's like, oh, is that a red? What's that red envelope? Uh, a red suitcase? Yeah. Doing? <laughs> yeah what, what's that laptop? Ooh. <laughs> like, oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> Twenty twenty-five. Yeah. But um, probably the most entertaining part of the day was the um, security detail. Oh, very yes. obviously being a security detail. It's like what were they doing? Just walking around, looking shifty. With grenade like, launchers. There was a yeah. handful of people, and they had to scout. They had to scout the joint and make sure that like. You know, you know, case. You know, make sure. Oh, where are the exits? Is it all safe and everything? And the first person, a couple of them were a bit more inconspicuous, but mm. one guy <laughs> was just so blatantly like <laughs> just he, ripping out of his shirt. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Captain Head. She was I'm here for the business. He was basically a thumb wrapped yeah, in a suit. Nipples. Just <laughs> <gun wash. laughs> But he was wearing like a blue, uh, like long coat, like a like a long dress. Uh, like a suit coat, so oh, it's kind of sure. like it was I'm kind of picturing like a French lord now. Uh, <laughs> broader, okay. <laughs> yeah, like a, but uh, Michael Chiklis. But he was wearing like a blue suit and a blue shirt, so he was just like blue all over. Oh, sure. And he he really just looked like he could kill you, probably with his bare hands. Oh, yeah. break like, you over his knee. Yeah, he just he thing, just yeah. looked rough. Like, they don't, they cool. don't ever have to kill you. It's just that it's important that they look like they could. Yeah, because uh, that will deter potential. I mean, threats. he probably killed at least one person on the day. I guess. Yes. Oh yeah, and, yeah. So, and sometimes like they they could kill you. But oh, they'd yeah. rather kill one of your loved ones just to make a point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they they, do, they yeah, will cool, make you watch. Cool, it's the survivors who cool, suffer. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> and that pain is a, is a wonderful lesson. You carry that like with you. You know, I'd learn from it. Oh, and, to, you, and you can't yeah. do it again. No. Oh, that's no. a lesson I'd never forget. And they will take a finger. Yeah. Yeah, just... Well, that's the least I'd yeah. expect. It's, it's, well, it's change. Change. No, just because it's oh, as, yes. as decoration. It's like, just the change after the transaction. It's a change. Sorry, I'll give you If it's the ring finger, you might... Anyway, <laughs> there were two, there were two there were two other guys who looked slightly less conspicuous, but were just very clearly in that way where the way they're moving, you're like, do they keep putting their hand to their ear? Yeah, yes. when they're talking into yeah, their lapel. Yeah, <laughs> in, talk, talking into their lapel. Yeah. Uh, were and, they actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh my and, god! And they had um, the, oh, little, the, the, the little white coil, coil. Oh, yeah. and yeah. um, I'm, f- I'm fairly certain some of them were carrying weapons as well. Oh yeah, like oh, you got it. You, just sticks. You saw just like the hint of you know under. Under, the, under their el- their armpit, a holster, a, a, a genuine morning star, yeah, just wow. like you know, a spiked ball on a stick. And of course, the suit of armor was a massive giveaway. As well, well, yeah, and you'd think, but, <laughs> but but at first, I was like, that guy's wearing a suit of armor. Then I looked at his horse, and I was like, no, yes. the horse is naked. Like the horse has no armor. But it was armed. The horse was armed. The horse, well, the horse was. But um, then most horses aren't. As he was yeah. charging into the jousting ring, <laughs> I began to suspect. <laughs> The thing is, like, you know, my horse sniffed his. They seem yeah. to get on fine. Yeah, you that's, know. that's good then. That's it, Peo there. Really, it's really no. Peo was actually one of our keynote speakers. Was he? Yeah. And, well, uh, he's, got a, he's got a lot to give. The and, community. and, you know, when I felt that I, guy, when I felt guy. that I couldn't stem the bleeding from the severed finger, mm. uh, Peo was there to uh, offer some 
you know, do what he care oh, like to infect it. To infect yes, indeed. Yeah, 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 I think he shat a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I actually appreciate his restraint in that regard because you know, before the event, it was it was a pretty much near constant stream. Yeah. Well, when everyone's on a horse and there's like a thousand people in a building, you know, that's when it gets. Pooey. Oh, entirely, yeah, no, mm. and uh, so I actually stepped off my horse at one point just because being below the eye line mm. it was actually quite relaxing. I can imagine. It's kind of like being underneath, you know, when the smoke rises in yeah. a burning building. You're just oh, getting down yeah. below that. And which is funny speaking, you mentioned... Speaking of that... <laughs> <laughs> speaking of that simile, let's, let's go back to what was being launched. <laughs> oh, um... That's nothing to say, really. Oh, just, that's uh, oh, it was a fun, boring. It was a fun oh, event, right, and right. Uh, it was a late night, and uh, got a bottle of um, free cheap. Oh, yeah, that's where we started with this. That's yeah. cheap. That's what it was. Which yeah. we're not drinking. There's also some in, uh, interpretive danks in the evening. Oh, I don't know if you're joking. What did you interpret from it? Um, that people really like the Greatest Showman. Oh yeah, people Do go they crazy. Sing that song? That. Everyone sings that song at every event now. I have watched the film, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Have you seen the film? I have seen the film. Yeah, yeah, we watched it fairly recently, actually. I did it. What, any thoughts? I mean, it was all right. In, it was all right. Yeah. Liz yeah. didn't like it. Liz didn't like Liz it. Liz didn't like, like it. it. Liz is a big musicals fan, isn't yeah. she? Liz is coming down off Hamilton High, though. That's yeah. true. I think Liz didn't like La La Land either. She's chasing She's the dragon. Funny. Oh yeah, Hamilton's excellent. Yeah, I mean, how yeah. I haven't seen Hamilton, but I can, from what I hear, that you you know you never get that high again. I've not seen Hamilton, but I have listened to the soundtrack quite a few times, and I've touched Chris Ray, so I, who has mm. seen it? I'm going to so touch this now. Feel... Oh! oh yeah, no, I, I get a lot from that. You get a lot of R and B. I assume mm. rap vibes. I heard in a recent. I heard in a recent performance of Hamilton. Oh yes, Lin Manuel Miranda was back <gasps> playing Hamilton. The legend yes, he plays Hamilton, yes. Mr. Hamilton, and Alexander Mr. Hamilton. Monsieur Hamilton. He's French. Sorry, yeah, Monsieur Hamilton. Hamilton. For T is silent in French. Oh yeah, Hamilton. 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 Isn't that Ham? Yes. No, please continue. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I heard he went off script. To freestyle in, the, in the middle of a rap Dangerous. to criticize a woman who was filming the show Did on her really? mobile. Yeah. Did really? But can we see that footage? Because she filmed <laughs> it and linked it to YouTube. Am I right? Uh? He, he retweeted she's, it. She's quizzing. Yeah. All right. She's the one who's quids in in that scenario. Yeah. She, she's being rapped to. Yeah, during she, Hamilton, and she's getting a bespoke performance, which no one else can see. The uh, ad revenue on that clip, I bet she the got interviewed by all the national newspapers after that, and they paid a fee. You make I'm a very, not Lin Manuel Miranda. You no. make a very good point because he's actually rewarding her. Exactly. What he should have done, You're right. is rapped less to everyone else. <laughs> he should have stopped singing, uh, but not to her. So he's <laughs> yeah. like, this one goes out to everyone except, except Deborah, you, so. <laughs> except fucking Deborah. Just, the best thing you can do is ignore it, and then she can't cash in on her notoriety. Yes, yes. There you go. What is a diss track? What is a diss track? It's yeah. where you write a usually rap orientated song to slam someone else. Yeah. Did Logan Paul originate oh, the diss? Track? I don't think we should we should credit because him. You are my like that. my my go to Paul brother. Yeah, uh, I wish consultant. I wasn't, but I am. I there are brothers. I'm, I'm, oh, there's two Pauls. I'm the Paul consultant of this group. And I can safely say I actually haven't checked in with the Logan Paul's lately. an asshole. He is. Yeah. He is an asshole. Let's all agree with that. I'm going to have to bleep nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that about any celebrity going. <laughs> bring, bring me name a celebrity. Name a celebrity, I'll and I'll tell you in which way they're an asshole. Taylor Swift is a dickhead. Why is I will repeat that. Ah, oh, she is. I mean, I don't know. Anything. You can tell. <laughs> I just want to know. She's just that sore, isn't she? There's just no story, though, isn't there? Like, I was no, hoping for a story. Songs, and like, oh, she is. She gets, she gets with a dude. <laughs> okay. Let's say it's Tom Yeah, then Hiddleston. she writes an album about the fact that they broke they up. Bro- and then she breaks up with them, so she has material for her next album. <laughs> well, frankly, That yeah. is classic dickhead behaviour. She's an emotional vampire. Is That's what it is. And she's feeding off emotions to create albums. And she's really pale. Yeah. Like a vampire. God, she makes great pop music. No, I'm joking. I have no idea. I, I, like, I think I like you that need one. to shake it off. Oh! CSI Miami. Uh, oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the, the clubs. <laughs> Nanny Professor 2, the clubs. <laughs> Who has a hate? I've got a hate. Yeah. Oh, my. Do you remember when the show stood for something? No, <laughs> no, it really. never did. What's your hate, Nick? My hate is the phrase man flu. Oh. oh. Wow. Here's my issue with it. Sounds like somebody's got a bad case of the Mondays. Of the Mondays. Ma- I'll start man. again. Um, yeah. It started, surely man flu, right? Started out as a phrase that people used to discredit men when they were blowing up their normal illness that everyone else suffers from. And they were saying, oh, it's worse for me. Yeah. And, and so, you know, making them feel like 
well, just just telling it how it is, basically. You're milking this. Like, yeah. it's a cold. We all get colds. Some of us get worse colds than others. Mm. But yours isn't worse just because you're a man. Yes. But some men make a bigger thing of it. And sure. that, that was the originator of it. But now, confusingly, some men say, I've got man flu. Yeah, that's true. I say it. And I don't understand. Well, if you say it, then here's the question to you: What do you say? What are you I mean, saying? That's just a popular you say term. That? It's what. It's it, why do I say any words? Why are the words I'm saying <laughs> I now? Ask the question every day, sense. Chris. <laughs> None of what it, I'm it's saying. It's a real mystery for the ages. <laughs> None of what yeah. I'm saying. Shut up. None of what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> yeah, if you think about I know. It. That's why we've got you word, on this podcast. If I say the word "word" over and over again, it will mm. stop making sense. Jamais word. Word. Oh, word. That's what it's called. Ah, word. Is that ham in French? Word. <laughs> Word. If you'd like to get <laughs> word. word, this is already word. our best episode ever. I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> calling it now. Word. Time of death. Uh, word. No, I'm just saying. I get no, your point. Incredible. What you're saying is, is it's basically just transcended any of its originating meaning, and it's now just a phrase for when men get sick. Is that what you're saying? No, no, I don't think that is what I'm saying. What are it's you generally, saying? But it's generally <laughs> accepted, or it's generally popularised that men have a lower thre- threshold for pain than women. Rightly or wrongly, yes, I don't. Yeah, no, no, that's, I think, I, but that's, that's, that's where the where, original term. That came is from. where the original term came from. Yes, man flu. I'm not saying, oh, I have man flu because it's not a thing. No, it's just an expression. Really Are you being self-deprecating? You're like, oh, yeah. Oh, see, oh, I, see, see, I, I feel like that. it's a way of saying, oh, I've got the man flu, but I'll be all right. It's a way of making myself look tough subconsciously. That's... I'm, I'm saying, oh, I've got the man flu, but I'll be all right. I see. So what you're doing so is we're reversing you're, it. you're putting down the fact. You're putting men down in the sense of their threshold, but you're admitting it and thereby saying that it's not a big deal. And also I'm saying I'm tough because I've got man flu, yet here I am at work spreading it around. Right. So, okay. So. <laughs> I'm a real hero. Yeah. So right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patient zero the hero. Um, Aren't you? So, that's great. But I've heard, and I'm not going to name names because I've made that mistake on this podcast before. And John just has to bleep, 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 bleep. So, I. Oh, I know who it is then. Yeah. Some people. No, it's not that. Oh, nice. okay. Um people who have said it with pride and mm-hmm. have not gone to work it's like oh i'm really really like yeah. i'm really ill i've got man flu i can't come in for four days yeah that doesn't make sense that doesn't make sense that's actual it? flu yeah or like a really bad cold which is fine to admit mm. like what's the difference between a cold and flu <laughs> um well they're both viruses but the mm. flu is like can be very deadly. Mm. It's one of those weird things. That's you know, the one you get the jab on. The cold's you, more common. Well, it? yeah. Have you ever had that thing? Where, cold. Uh, this is this might seem like a bit of like a uh, a digression, but you know. No, what? not on this show. That is weird, isn't it? Not but, a digression. No, but it's like, have you ever seen a raven? Um, I don't know. The bird. Are you going to take talk me through the difference between a raven and a crow? I this think is, you might need to because this, I don't know. No, but this is the thing. Like, uh, send a raven. I, I used to say as a as a, I might say as a kid. Oh, there was some, I saw this really black bird, a really big black bird. Wait, it, it, it was a yeah, pretty. I was a horrible kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I saw this big black bird. It was a raven. Right. And everyone would go, no, it was a crow. I was like, no, 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 it was pretty big. And they're like, no, if you saw a raven. You'd know about would it, you? but then you're like, "But I did." Yeah, yeah, but there's always this. There's co- no way you could win. That's yeah. why I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But that's the thing with like, I see what you're getting at. And so, so everyone goes like, "Oh, I was so ill." I had like, I think I had like the flu, and I was like, "No, you'd know if you yeah, had the flu." Yeah, it's I like, see, yeah. yeah, I would. Yeah, that's I, why I'm saying I do. Exactly. No, you just had a re- you had a really bad cold. Oh, I see that fucks me off oh, real bad. Whoa. That whole like, I know you better than you thing. Like mm. that could be a whole hate in itself. Like, don't get me on and on that, but. No, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. But that is, I, I believe that is the distinction, as far as I understand it, between the cold and the flu. Is oh, just, right. A really bad cold. It's just a big black bird. Uh, yeah, just a different virus. And okay. it's pretty, it can be pretty uh, deadly. Oh, all right. In America, like, it's pretty common to get, like, flu vaccination. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't yeah, no, you get them here as well. Yeah, I, get, I get them. We must have had. You, you, can, you can go in and ask for them, but I think you, you, you common people oh, sure. have yeah. to pay. But I get them because I'm on some horrible uh, autoimmune oh. immune That's depression. That's horseshit, isn't it? Nick has a, a congenital man flu mm. yeah. disorder. Is it because yeah. you've got man flu? Is that why you you hate it? Yeah, I've never had man flu. Constantly never. got man flu. It's just permanent. Well, I, was, I was very ill. I don't think it was flu. I was very ill at Christmas. Yeah, you were. For several days. I was yeah. proper ill. You but, were. But that's a weird thing because I, I, would, I would used to think to myself like, oh, 
a cold generally lasts like a few days. Mm. Uh, and then if you get like these these horrible colds that sometimes last like a couple of weeks, because you, you were sick for ages. Well, yeah, Ali's just like, getting off the back of a really bad yeah. cold. It's been like a week long. So, so I would think to myself, oh man, like two, a two week cold, that's probably the flu. And then, so, and then somebody just like in your house would pop yeah, up. Yeah, just pops go, up. Oh no, it's yeah. not the flu. Gareth, what you are you doing in my house? house? <laughs> like, Who are you? <laughs> Get out of my house! Have you thought about Jesus? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> May this spread the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. He'll help you out this flu problem. It's weird because, yeah, I just don't know whether it's like it's almost like a movement to reclaim the the derogatory nature of the mm. of how the term was started out. But I don't think anyone uses it in that derogatory way anymore. No, because I, I think it started with like girlfriends talking about their boyfriends or husbands or whatever. Yeah, being pathetic. It's just yeah, like, yeah. Oh, he's not at work today because he's got man flu. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I don't think anyone does that anymore. Like, I think the only way the term is used is when people are using it for themselves. Like, men are using it about themselves. And either they use it in your way, yeah. Chris, or they use it in a like, yeah, I, I was really ill. I had man flu. It's like that. What? What? That is I feel like it maybe it's become a term to. to Say what is in between a cold and flu, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe that's where it slots in now. But now I don't. Then the I don't if that's true, I don't like it. Well, no. It, I would, think be, you should it, it. would be really mad if, like, there was some big breakthrough in the next couple of years, and the doctors were like, you know, <laughs> actually, <laughs> there's a flu that affects only the male species. Yeah, and it's, it's actually just called like man flu. Yeah. yeah, there's no other better word for it. Guys. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was actually just. <laughs> I've got a person who discovered it, it all. all. Would never be able to name it after themselves because it'd just be, oh, it's man flu. No, 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 it's Smithsonian disease. No, unless he was called Steve Mann. Yeah, two ends. Two ends, yeah. <laughs> I've, discovered, I've discovered a new strand of flu. I've decided to call it Steve Flu. No, Steve. No, you had this. No, it's man flu. Steve, read Do the cards. Dr. Mann. Read the cards. Dr. Steve. Mann, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> it's like, a, wow, uh, what a shocking development. It turns out, you know, man flu is real. Wow, we're going to have to change the name. No. It was discovered by George Mann. <laughs> the importance of being earnest and his stare at the camera. And then smash, smash cut to a, ble- a bleach blasted wasteland. <laughs> so, Daddy, what was it like before the coming of the man flu? <laughs> <laughs> the, the world post apocalypse would have been so much better had even any of the children survived. <laughs> it, is kind of, it is kind of weird that some people might reclaim it. As a as like a proud, but thing. I don't think they're doing it deliberately either. Like I I think they've misunderstood. Like I genuinely, this person that I'm anonymously referencing, I think has misunderstood the meaning of the well, phrase. They, they think it's an actual thing. Yeah. Oh no. That, or, well, well, they don't think it's a biological thing, but they think it's a term that is used for when you get some a man gets something a little bit worse. I think that's what they genuinely... That's how it comes across that they're using it. Is it like the only cure is to sit in like a, a smoke lodge for a while or something like that? <laughs> to retreat to the man cave, exactly. which is another problem I have. But I've had my leg man <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think we have an episode title. <laughs> you, you, you call into work. Darren, hi, it's Jeff. I'm very sorry. I know what you're going to say, Darren. We have the same voice. <laughs> and yes, you have the man flu. I'm sorry, Jeff. Which one are you? I don't know. I've I'm lost track. I'm going to be at home whittling for three days. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring in a lovely piece of wood. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go. I think that's all we've got to say about that. Wow. Mm. No, I agree. It's mm. weird. It is weird. Isn't it's like... strange now that I think about it, but <laughs> I can't like say crazy. I've ever given it any thought well, for this moment in time. Which I suppose is the point of the show. Maybe it is. To, to shine a light on those things that maybe we take for granted day yeah. to day. I want to... I um, the thing I'm about to say may sound weird, but oh, no. I, oh, I, I wish go. sometimes that I could get properly, properly ill. Because mm. I don't seem to. What a strange thing to say. It's a very, it's a very odd thing to say. Let me elaborate. Like, like have a horrible disease. Well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you fed me that uh, <laughs> uh, line. Uh, so what happens is, I, 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 I feel like, oh man, I, I just feel rotten. Like, mm. oh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. But it's uh, never bad enough to like get off yeah. work or something. Like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow properly sick. Like, like it's happening. Yeah. It's coming. This is it. This is my moment. And, 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 and I'm gonna take time off work. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna take a day and I'm gonna recover. Mm. You wake up the following morning, fine. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, yeah. why can't my I body is so powerful? Yeah. <laughs> it's the mental aptitude of the mind. Like you just wake up in the morning and you're like you're pumping iron and you've just been doing it for four hours in your yeah. sleep. And like, there's a puddle of dead disease on the ground. Like, I beat <laughs> you. I, 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 beat you. I did it. I did it. <laughs> it's important to sweat out the illness. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they say. Mm. Mm. Can't get I don't believe them. Do you have a hate? Yes, I do. <laughs> 
John. That's my gift to you. Hello. John, you're a very talented writer. Oh, that's very Like, kind. you're naturally a oh. very good writer. Oh. And Nick, oh. you're naturally a very talented artist. Wow. You're both bastards. Oh, yeah. And here's why. Okay, tell me. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I, but I tell hate me. people who, are, <laughs> that's it, who yeah. have a natural talent. As in, they're just good at it. <laughs> why? You put no effort into being good whoa, at that. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, are you still holding us up as, no, not as examples? Sandra, that was no. just an introduction to my piece. Okay, there it was people, very good. That wasn't it, wasn't it? That was okay. comically misleading. Well, I loved yeah, it. Yeah, it was yeah, great. Totally. There are people who you encounter in life mm. who are just good at things. Mm. They put no effort into being good at those things. Mm. And it's galling, to say the least, that they will... Let's let's use school as an example. Ah, well, uh, yes. I, can, I can think of some examples. And you, right walk, and you walk out... You walk out of an exam, let's say, oh, God. and you think, oh, God, I'm glad I revised for that. Yeah. Christ, that was really hard, wasn't it? And then you'll, you'll talk to people after an exam, as you, as you naturally Fucking do. Fucking Gareth. To undermine each other's confidence. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you'll say to the person, oh, how did you find that? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, piece of piss, mate. Piece of piss. Drove. Oh, do you do lots of, do you do lots of revision? No, mate. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I was out and they get an A. You used to drive me mad. Can I, can I, there, there is a spectrum, though. Because mm. I, I knew people in, well, people you knew, presumably, as well, in secondary school, who were just, who, as you say, were just brilliant. Just yeah, mad everything. Out. Like, I do not know. One name, one name crops up. Don't say it, he'll leave you out. No. I, I won't say it. Well, <laughs> I, will start, I will explain that person. But, I, but, I also, but there is a spectrum, because I knew another person who would also do the thing where they'd be like, oh, just piss easy exam was so easy I finished in like 20 minutes and I spent how and would I, you ever even say that but, I, but I've sat behind that person who in an exam <laughs> is like I go okay and uh, okay class everyone uh, pick up your pens no talking and the exam starts now and I'm like okay John get in the zone uh, remember make, make your notes plan your time and the person in front of me was just like you know and they're just like just scribbling and scribbling and scribbling completes paper, slams it down, reaches into their pocket, pulls out a fisk-sized oh. ball of baby bell wax. <laughs> what? Slams it onto the tabletop and, like close encounters of a third kind, spends 40 minutes sculpting it. <laughs> wait, wait. So they were so good that yeah. they finished the exam in, like, six seconds or whatever yeah. and then spent the rest of their allocated time sculpting some baby bell that wax. That is not a joke. And this, this per- happened to you. You this, watched this. this. This person carried a handful of baby bell wax, which they'd been At building... Yeah, they've been building, you know, every day. That's just more that fuel for the fire. I think I know who this was. Yeah. And then at the end of the exam, I thought, because I was, I, I've never been good at exams. Like, I. No, I mean, neither. No, I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I don't perform well in that environment. I don't remember anything that I revised when I'm. Sad. Yeah, like, it's, it's all gone. Yeah. So I come out and I'm a bundle of nerds anyway, thinking, like, oh, I wonder if I can. And I'm, I was like the nerdy, like, try hard kid who had, yeah. like, revision cards and binders yeah, and stuff, yeah, and yeah. it's all just gone. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I mean, that, that same person, you know, old. Um, you know, Mike W. Go, old Patrick Swayze and goes. <laughs> what, even on a potter's wheel? Amazing. Yeah, a potter's wheel, yeah. And uh, just kept singing that song. And uh, he comes out and goes, Yeah, it's piss easy. You know, yeah, yeah. so easy, knew everything. I'm like, Did you though? And here's a really? wax swan that I carved as well. Yeah. Just <laughs> chewing on, like, e- eating a ball of baby bell wax. Don't eat the wax? So that's one end of the spectrum, but I know what you mean because there were, there were well, people. Because I played sport. I'm spitting, sorry. I played sport to a certain level, but not a very high level, mm. and I had to put a lot of effort into becoming as bad as I was. <laughs> That's the thing. I put a lot of effort into that. No, but genuinely, this is quite profound. And I was still shit. Mm. Let's let's say yeah, it's shit. No. Football. I like football. I I started off at secondary school not interested in football at all, and I hadn't played football as a kid or anything like that, and therefore came into it quite late. Yeah. And. Ben started playing and watching football and everything, and I put a hell of a lot of effort into trying to be fitter and play football and all this, that, and the other. And I thought I was getting somewhere, and then you see someone who's just asked around their whole life, and they just start playing, and it's like, and like how the hell? What are you doing? No, and it's just that. Honest, why? Is, why have they been selected to be good at that or yeah. anything? Honestly, when I have to work my bollocks off to be to half good close. at anything. Well, but honestly, the. The, this is so. I, I swear, I was talking about this just the other day with Lucy because it's like, yeah, g- growing up, like I was, and you can attest to this, Chris Ray. I was like the nerd. Yeah. I was. I was. Yeah, he yeah, 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 was. Yeah. yeah, I'd never get fun times. Yeah. I love secondary school. But no, <laughs> it was I, the worst time of my life because I wasn't sporty. Yeah, and amen, it, sister. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> preach. Yeah, but it's like I. I enjoy science, and and you know I I, I worked hard because <laughs> yeah yeah 
I worked, boffin. I worked yeah, hard. Yeah, boffin. boffin. God, boffin. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of boffin. Oh. But this is the, this is the really weird thing, like, because because my parents were always like, "You're going to work hard." Yeah, like like they drove. Oh, we'll whip you. Yeah, like they drove me hard to like study and revise and everything. Yeah, and it's weird because I <laughs> put in so many hours like yeah wait had had very little social life wasted so much of my time studying totally to be a, a maybe slightly a top end average student yeah. like the best i could do was like b yeah like i, I like this is the thing yeah. like, like i i was totally the same like i i i revised i got called a boffin and a nerd people copied my homework and yet i was in the b set yeah i wasn't even yeah. in the a set for science <laughs> like <laughs> Like <laughs> what? Like what the hell? <laughs> I remember there was a girl I liked. There was a girl. Oh, and, so and she was like, "Oh, Chris, what what answers did you get?" And I gave her my answers because she, for some reason, thought I would get them right. They were all wrong. <laughs> all of them. There's a powerful lesson. There. They were all wrong. Um, at uni, uh, if you're bringing back another memory now, in the second year of uni, uh, there was a girl on my course in oh. biology. And I didn't even really know her that well. Uh, I can't, and honestly, I can't even remember her name now. Mm. And it's all those drugs. Wasn't, <laughs> one, one time, yeah. <laughs> wasn't really close to her at all. She was just kind of like, oh, it's so-and-so. Hi, you might just say hello occasionally. Yeah, in passing, right. And one day after a lecture, she said, oh, hey, like, um, do you want to uh, go over some of like the notes for this lecture? That sounds so, sordid. And, yeah, and right. I was like... Uh, well, not really, because I'm a bit. I'm a bit <laughs> Who busy. Are you? <laughs> but she was like, "Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll pop over later, and we can, we can talk about this." Not what I said. And because I was a pushover, she's a con man. <laughs> because I was a pushover, I was like, "Okay, I guess." And she came over to like the house, the student house I was living in, right, for like an hour, just on, to... just on a random morning. And she was like, "Okay, so what, what, what did you put for this?" What do you put this? And I, and I was That's like, oh. I, and I did at least have some self-respect to go like, maybe you should look into it yourself. And then she left, and I was like, "That's the most I've ever spoken with this person." And because I was trying to be a semi-decent person, I just got roped into this. Yeah. And I talked to some other people, and they're like, "Oh yeah, she's done it to everyone." Yeah. Oh, like oh, shit, everyone. Like she would just kind of latch onto someone and say, "That's mad." Shocking. Shocking. The worst thing about these people mm. is that some of them are really nice. Mm. And I want to hate them. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I can't. No. They're really nice people. I, I, no, um, I agree. I can think of a friend who maybe is a mutual friend that we're thinking about. Is he listening? Perhaps. Right now. Possible. Go on. Uh, well, maybe I'll name him Off Mike. Okay. Who is a genuinely really nice guy. Sure. Wonderful guy. Also, uh, hella smart. Mm. Got like six A levels. Ugh. I think had like six. How do you have the time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the school, the school wouldn't even allow you to. Uh, I'm trying to think who it is now. I've got three. Tall fellow. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, the school would only let you do three generally. Like if you yeah, if I you argued, they might let you do four. But he taught himself a couple in his spare time. Right. Got five A's and a B. Uh, had like a, a kind of silver national silver medal in some martial art yeah. in secondary school. I would have got it from that. Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly good looking fellow. Yeah. And I'll like, say, and it's like if you were, <laughs> if you were a really good person and a good friend, I'd hate you. I'd yeah. kneecap you by now. Yeah. Just so, and it's rare when you meet someone, you're like, oh wow, you are objectively better than me. You are like, just at everything. But listen, yeah. I guess this is what your point is, isn't it? It's like they, they don't just like they're not just good at one thing. They're like good at everything. Good at loads of things, and I don't know if it's just jeans or it can't just be jeans. Because no, they're wearing shorts. Brilliant. That's great. Oh, that's the joke. That's great, great stuff. Yeah. That's this guy. This well, guy. we've had a fun run on the show, but I think now we've <laughs> I think we've, to that's it. it? There's a guy who went on to become a professional footballer in our school. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, who was just good at everything. Is he still a professional footballer? Uh, yeah, he's sort of semi-retired now because he's of course, my yeah. age. Yeah, um, that's old in football terms. Yeah. Um, you see, that's how I'm going to get my victory because, yeah, I wasn't a professional footballer, but I'm going to be mediocre to the age of 82. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, writers, they, they, they mature in the old age. Yeah. Like, yeah, look at George R. R. Martin. He's about to die. I know. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet all the footballers are gutted. <laughs> I bet they're all devoed, yeah. I dream of being an old pervert like George R. R. Martin. Oh, that would be amazing. He's got all... away with it, though, hasn't he? Yeah. Everyone loves him. I completely agree with you because despite your introduction, and I know it was a comedy introduction, wasn't it? I am not a naturally talented artist. Oh, not, oh I won't no, no, have it. No, I won't have it. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not like at least slightly good at what I do. Sure. But sure. it's only... Cocky, isn't he? It's only because 
I have worked because I've been surrounded by people yes. who have been at the same age and same point in their careers as me objectively and I mean objectively I know art is subjective but they were objectively better than me by 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 miles at the same point that I was mm. and I was just like I don't understand how you can possibly be where you are yeah. when you and I have potentially had the exact same amount of time drawing yeah. like I, I've drawn all my life and yet I wasn't brilliant when I was mm. a kid I was getting B's and C's in art classes and granted mm. yeah they weren't like comic art classes but still like I wasn't good at art. I'd wanted to be so bad, but I really wasn't. And I, I only really feel like I've actually become good at what I do in the last couple of years, truly. It's, but that's that's because you've worked hard and, and yeah. all credit to you. Well, thank you. Yeah. But that can't be a natural thing. You can't be naturally good at something like Surely. Well, but, 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 but yet, when I was a kid at, in art class, when I was like 15, there were these, there, there were people like my contemporaries yeah. who were producing these paintings that were incredible, like genuinely. But, it, but they have no life experience. But it is weird if someone if someone looked at like Nick for example and goes, "Hello, oh wow, like you know you're an amazing artist. What an incredible gift you have." Yeah, and it's like that's kind of annoying as well because it's like, yeah, maybe I no, do have right. a gift, but also the gift isn't the thing which is keeping me up like till eleven o'clock every night drawing. Mm. No, like it's you have to work at it. Yeah, like it's like honing a muscle. Well, that's yeah, what yeah, I no, mean. That's right. exactly what I mean. If you if you're good at something and you work at it to improve yourself and and do all that and progress and whatever, good on you. That's well a different done. thing. Yeah, good on you. But, but if you, if I or someone walked in this house now, picked up a pen and drew something as good as what you draw or better and have never drawn before, you'd be fuming. I would be you would so angry. I would probably... And it's those, sh- those people I can't stand. Shoot myself. What, it, but I bet he's a bloody good bloke. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, he'll be, oh, he's, in fact, he's here right now. Yeah. Hello, uh, Ronald. How you doing? Well, tonight, no, you, got th- you legend. Where tonight, are we going tonight? Tonight, Matthew. What <laughs> club are we going to? I'm going to be better than you at everything. Ronald, he's a party animal. Well, it's weird. I mean, if it is like training a muscle, it doesn't get hangovers. No. Like, if working on a skill, Dick. If, yeah. if building a talent is like training a muscle. Sorry. <laughs> Still thinking about Ronald. Yeah. We're using muscles. Maybe it is like genes. I imagine an element of it is roll the dice. Because, like, if, if, say, let's use the muscle analogy, if training a talent is like training a muscle, mm. say, like, you want to be, like, the world's strongest man, mm. you know, you could train daily you yeah. can train every hour but some people are just going to be stronger than you naturally a little bigger you're right like just because they're, right. they're born that way like if I decided suddenly to try and hench up at the gym I don't think I can get to no. like who's a strong guy I don't yeah. know strong dudes I can't get to that level I don't, no. think, I, I don't think I physically Hulk could Hogan. do it Hulk Hogan yeah Hulk yeah, Hogan yeah. that's one everyone can relate to I read but if you lined yeah. up sorry no, no, if you lined been, up a bunch of kids who had never kicked a football before yeah some of them will be better than others sure I'm Where living, does that I'm come from? from? Where does that, that is from? a really good point. That is really weird. Because uh, like, I, I mean, some are better. This may, this may come as a surprise to you, but I had absolutely no sporting ability at all as a kid. <gasps> I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you were sitting down, Chris Ray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. But like, I just could not kick a football. Had no coordination <laughs> at all. Couldn't. Can't. Well, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, well, <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> thanks for reopening that. Really. Playing um, in Dorchester now. But no, I, I read I read a thing a while ago, and I can't remember. Who who said it? I believe he was a Japanese artist, but he had this um, he had this theory that there were four times of, four types of artists, oh, right. and I guess you could replace artist with anything footballer, creative, anything. But he said there's good, good, mm. bad, good, yeah, good, bad, uh, and bad, bad, right, right, right. And he said a bad, bad artist is just awful. Yeah, okay, no redeeming <laughs> qualities. Yeah. Like they they try and they're just they're just awful. Sure. Uh, a good, good artist, mm. he was saying, it seems to be born with some kind of like godlike ability. They make it look effortless. Yeah. They never have to try. Yeah. Maybe seemingly don't have to try. I hate them. And he was saying, you will never be a good... If you're not already... You, you, you can't never become be, one. Yeah, he was saying, you, sh- you will never be a good, good <laughs> artist. So he said, don't even try. Okay. So he was saying... Like, so, so the other two... He <laughs> Trying is the first step towards failure. Yeah. You're so but, right. But the, the two he talked about were a good, bad artist. So you're like, the artwork is bad, but you can tell that they're learning. Yes. And there is room for improvement, and you can tell that they are getting there. I've seen this in, in artists. Yeah. yeah. And myself as well. And he said, and a bad, good artist is somebody who is still oh, growing. And you're like, right. and he said, I can see that you're talented. And I can see maybe that like, maybe you're a little limited in one area or maybe like you're still trying. But he's like, but he's saying that's what everybody should aspire to. Mm. And to be a bad, good yeah. artist yes. is yes. to be someone who works constantly 
at their craft to keep improving and getting better. That's really interesting that that is the one that is the, the one you want to be, the one you want to yeah. aim to be. Because, I mean, potentially also there's a point here that, that we're getting at, which is maybe that they don't exist that that we think these people purely exist because everything we do is compare ourselves to, to mm. others and maybe they they're, they're only there like you start you jokingly started by saying like you're a naturally great yeah, writer yeah. You're, but but like john and i both aren't like we've worked really hard yeah, about yeah. what we do and also we would look at the way you play football and be like holy crap he's a genius like we yes. would genuinely. We oh, probably would. We joke about it, but like you know, when you, I mean, and I know we're just banding around compliments now, but yeah, oh, you you can talk of really it, nice. you can talk of a genuine authority about football. Thank you. And as a sport, as a journalist, you've well, written yeah. you've written pieces where I read yeah. it and I go, that, "This guy knows that, what he's that, fucking talking." About. I, and like I don't understand it, but I can tell that he does. Yeah. Wow. There you go. So and 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 I could say, this Chris Ray fellow has a god given journalistic ability. Yeah. And you might say no. Maybe they don't. Do, uh, maybe they yeah. don't exist. Maybe we think they do. Maybe, yeah, maybe they don't exist. But I do have a suspicion they do. Yeah. Oh, they do. Because yeah. I've been... <laughs> <laughs> and I, I will maybe hate... they don't. No, they definitely do. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think we can all agree that we hate these people. Oh yes. yes oh yeah. If they exist, which they probably do, they do. Then we hate them. Even if they're the loveliest, coolest people that and are our best friends. They don't exist. We hate the idea of them. But yeah. do you think? Do you think if they, if they do exist for good, good people? Yeah. Do do you reckon they are utterly content, like floating in like a, a Nirvana esque state of brilliance? Is anyone though? Like, yeah. we constantly look at others and think they've got it sorted. This is the whole problem of social media: is that we look at other people's mm. lives because they curate their own lives. Mm. We're like, they've got it sorted. They're happy. They're great. Everything's awesome. But they're as unhappy as we are. I've got to say, like <laughs> classic example of. Um, I, I think like it's all a spectrum. We've done so spectrum. we've done so many episodes where the hate has generally just been social media. <laughs> So I'm, I'm yeah, trying to, like, down. as a moratorium on, I'm going to try and avoid that in the future. Like, as a classic example, like, I, I spend very little time on Twitter now, and I feel so much better for so it. So do I, God, yeah. Before so the show, I oh, logged no. onto Twitter for, like, five minutes. No! Opened it, like, well, now I feel worse. <laughs> about, <laughs> it's just instant. About the world and about myself as a person. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Like, ah, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Well, I'm done. That was a good one. I would, Thank I would, you. I would actually love it if I'm like, oh man, I just want to talk to these people. Because I imagine like a parental unit would say, as jealous as you are of them, I guarantee they're jealous of someone else. Look, Brian, come on in. But who do you think is like the top, top of the world who is not jealous of anyone? That's my point. You're bringing Brian and go, actually, I'm, this not, guy. I'm not jealous. I'm fucking brilliant. I, I'm actually kind of amazing. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm like... God damn it, he's God right. God damn it, Brian, you're beautiful. But then you call him cocky, then he wouldn't have the likability factor, would he? But unless he was also he's like... So, he's so, so good that he he's can't... the most he's, humble guy. Unless he was really nice about it. Like, guys. <laughs> guys. You know, I just, I mean, it's nothing personal. You're special in your own way. <laughs> we're all God's mm. flowers. You we're know? all God's flowers. But, but I am we're better than you. Wilted but it's okay, because I just paid off your mortgage. Because yeah. I'm that nice. Yeah, this is pro- if he paid off my mortgage, I'd probably allow it. Bro- God damn you, Brian. <laughs> this is the thing, is that despite him being better and telling us that he is we just love him we still love him and yeah. that's why we hate him that's why we hate Brian we invite him for a because we away. look at Brian and we go you're a fucking prick but god damn it do I love you yeah and that's the problem I can't stand the guy but he is great he is awesome what a guy such a legend so I hate hipster babies <laughs> oh my <laughs> we've hit rock bottom I'm just oh it no out. oh it's happened oh no <laughs> I'm, I'm, ju- I'm just saying I Guys, real, I don't even know what this is. Real talk. Okay, right? re- yeah. real talk. Yeah, great, right? can't wait. When you're a baby, you have no idea. What I think we can all relate to that. Well, I mean, I was all, one. Yeah. We've all been there. Yeah, I don't big remember. Time, but big time. When you're a baby, you have no control over your reality. You have no. no control over your day-to-day life. You are basically, food is going in one end, coming out another. You're a shitting paperweight. You know, you're I'm very so lucky. jealous of babies. Can't, I can't wait to be a baby again. You could be. You could be one of those adult babies, like a crinkler. Oh, no. Oh, forget that, then. Pull, pull back. Pull, pull back. back. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the episode two of a show called Hate. That's feeding into the rich, uh, expanded universe of a show called Hate. Oh, uh, yeah. I okay. But um, there is, when, when we go to um, the London convention... We do go there. We do go to a London convention of no uh, you know particular brand name. But when we go to MCM... Um, <laughs> Uh, and beep, and we, look at other conventions are available. Well, we we always drive They're by. Really not. Oh, okay. <laughs> we other always, conventions are not available. <laughs> we always drive by one particular roundabout, and there is a faded ad on this roundabout, like a kind of um, 
post uh, kind foyer of thing. sheet, I would call it, in the business. Yeah, look at this guy and his God given knowledge of. I also ad- know that term because I work in advertising too, yeah. so you're foyer not special. Sheet. All right, guys. Well, 48, 48 six sheets, sheets as well. Or, the six sheets were a 72 sheet. That's uh, a huge one. A 72 didn't actually, sheet. Didn't actually know that one. What are we Shit. talking here? Number of panels. Yeah. How big's a panel? A4, I think. They sort of depend on the yeah. answer. <laughs> What's it mean? It, it's it's it? really, really quite meaningless. It's absolutely yeah. meaningless. But a 48 sheet is a mid sized advertising. It's like a billboard. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. And it is for it's faded, so it's clearly sure. been there a while. But it is for a department score, right? And the brand and the image is. I would have seen this. So well. Yeah, you probably would. Yeah. I think we've commented on it, but okay. uh, it's it's a load of babies all wearing really high fashion clothing. <sighs> yes, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, come on down. I'm like, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this? What in it? What what <laughs> myth are you selling me as a consumer right now? Because a a these babies are running shops, and I don't want to buy clothing. What? 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 Well, no. No, I'm just saying, let's, let's, let's... The babies are running the shop. Skip into my marketing brain. Okay. Okay. Well, well, you didn't even know what 48 sheet meant. Yeah. So well, I'm worried what about I this do. for a start. Well, you see, I... You're not the buffin now, John. I let the little people deal yeah. with uh, uh, the technicalities. Yes. What I'm saying is, the mar- marketing is, is, is bizarre, you know, from the same brains that gave us, like, dancing... The dancing Evian babies. Remember oh, those? Oh, oh, you know, oh yeah. Something goes like, we want babies in this ad, but babies, you know, give us youth, vitality and everything. Only they're going to be hip-hop babies. For some and they're going to be on rollerblades. And they're going to be dancing all sexy-like. I'm like, Jeff, you're it's right. It's a lot of CGI. Jeff, yeah. It's a bit of stroke, Jeff. <laughs> no, it's fine. But, it, but it's like, my point is, if you're showing a baby wearing funky, hipster, adult clothing, mm. what are you trying to tell me? That A... You know, what this, was this an advert for? Clothing? Like a retail shop? Yeah, it was, like, a, it yeah. was a clothing yeah. shop. My yeah. point is, are you, are you legitimately telling me that you're selling this awful clothing for a baby? I bet it's all Burberry. Well, Maybe. yeah. Or, they, uh, they all have beards as well, these babies. Well, this is my point. <laughs> I bet. As a kid, you've got no idea what's going on. You barely have a sense of self. Like, you're just like, when's the next meal coming? I don't know. Yeah. Soon? Probably, you know? Yeah, probably barely even that. But do you hate the babies or do you hate the... But what has been done to the babies? Uh, a little from column A. Okay. A little from column B. I think if ever I have a child, I'm just going to dress it in a pillowcase until it's yes! seven. And that kid would be lucky. Yeah, he'd, he'd be, be happy. Be lucky Some to kids have a who don't even get a pillowcase. I so. know. Would you cut holes in it? Pff, probably not. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, forget. isn't no. it? Well, you're better off like containing the arms and legs. Aren't yeah, you? I mean, so if I just knot the end of it... Or just, yeah, give, just, fine, just yeah. give the baby a pillow. You wouldn't even need a nappy then, either. True. You can just shit in the bag. And yeah. when it's full, I'll maybe wash it. Well, the probably more, the less pillowcase. Well, just chuck that one out and get another pillowcase. That's true. The fuller that pillowcase gets, the safer that baby is. And the warmer. Yeah, wet, warm. Yeah, yeah warm. Warm. And, and, and it's got life. If you drop the baby, as you probably would... Oh, well, more Um then it would have something soft to land in. Plus it's growing in its own natural compost, which is cool. Yeah, so yeah I know. Na- nice and tall. Nature's mm. way. That's how people get good at football. Oh, that's, they, that's, they, that's the natural secret. talent. They were that's the natural talent. They were Your own poo compost. Yeah. My point is, in a nutshell, gentlemen, mm. being cool is, is a weird... Uh, ephemeral... Like, how do you pin it down? How are you cool? I certainly don't know yet. I'm so, still building a binder. So I, for, mean, I mean, so you come to the right guy. So, oh, so yeah. for a baby or a child to be cool, when they would have no concept of being cool, and this is wonderful, what a glorious state of have being. Have you never watched Rugrats, John? Babies are aware they're cool. Yeah, they talk. Those babies were losers. Did you ever watch All Grown Up? No. It was them as teenagers. What, the Rugrats? The Rugrats, big time. Oh my God, a sequel. Oh, grown up. Have you never seen that? No. Yeah. No. They were all at high school. That's... Was he still wearing a nappy? Was Tommy still wearing a nappy? No, he had hair, no. Tommy. Oh, my God. He had his dad's hair. Oh, that's sort of His dad had, like, tops. blue hair. Yeah, yeah. 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 A bit yeah. like Mr. Mine. Is it wrong that I... Rugrats used to annoy me because I thought the babies were all very selfish. <laughs> the babies are selfish. That's my point. It's funny that that would be the thing you didn't no, like. No, <laughs> it did. And bear in mind that I was only, like, 14 or so when Rugrats was on. Yeah. Or however long ago it was. So it's interesting that a teenager would take away from this... Those babies are awfully selfish. They're so selfish. Like, that was my take. They're so inconsiderate. Those poor parents, you know. <laughs> Do you think that these hipster babies are less of a problem about weirdly trying to coolify babies and more that parents are trying to wear their own kids as a badge of how cool they are? Yes. Mm. And that's really sad, isn't it's it? It's a nice way of putting in. Mm. Surely, well, the, is it? Surely, <laughs> like, <laughs> ra- ra- raising a child is undoubtedly hard. Oh, of course. Like, uh, I... N- 
What do I know? Yeah, you what know, do you know? Don't I, tell me. I am a man-child. I do not know how hard it is to raise a child. So, surely one of the easiest, most beautiful aspects of being a child is that that child is clueless. <laughs> and you could dress them in a pillowcase. Yeah. And they would have no idea what's going on. But then everyone would judge you, John. Like all of your but friends when down that, in, when down that in the child school. became a hipster when it was older, because it, yeah. it would say, hey, parents, why are all my baby photos of me in a pillowcase? Why did you create a Facebook account for me at age two days and yeah. that all the pictures of me are in a pillowcase? <laughs> and, why is, and why is my name Tarquin the <laughs> Third? That's your biological very, name. Very, a, a gentleman is supposedly suing his parents for giving birth to him. What? Have you read about this? I did. I don't know anything about I can't this. tell if this is a weird case of performance art, but he's basically saying... Well, this is... Chris Ray, you say, no, no, sorry, no, you can say what you're going to say, and then I'll... Then okay, I'll okay. Yeah. Well, he is... Uh, and again, I can't tell how much of this is just Bollocks. taking the piss, but he's saying, I, I literally never asked to be born. Life is hard and miserable. I would be happier in a state of unknowing. I'm suing my parents because... They brought me into existence without my permission. I did not consent to being born. But he couldn't have done. Yes. That's his case. That's his point. I'm like, going to tell you why. But, but, but that works against him as well. Because he never had a, a, a way of There, is, there is precedence for this. Oh, you're okay. kidding me. Is it? No, there is, yeah. I took philosophy at A-level. Interesting. And there was a lawyer whose name I think was something like Clarence Darrow or Far- he was named, his surname was Farrow, something Good like God. that. And good knowledge. What a deep cut. God, is this natural talent? Yes, it could be. This is just knowledge. <laughs> natural I knowledge. think his name was Clarence Darrow, and he was playing the film by Kevin Spacey. Okay. Well, which we'll ignore. We, anyway, we watched yeah. the film in what philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. And he <laughs> su- yeah. Can't win them all. <laughs> he successfully got his... He successfully got a defendant off. This is a true story. He successfully got a defendant off because he said he never asked to be born. And then the law was rewritten because... He got because, him off on that technicality. It was a loophole. That was a loophole, was a loophole were, in the yeah. law, and that that loophole was then closed as a result, which makes me think this he can't possibly win. Ed won't win. Yeah, apparently he is a uh, he identifies as an anti-natalist. Fuck off. Uh, which is apparently a growing movement who believe, and I've got to say, it's actually hard to argue with them. Uh, they believe. <laughs> of course, that... it's hard to argue no, with them. They're morons. It's impossible well, no, to argue. You can't with... argue with a moron. They keep shouting. <laughs> But, but no, they believe that a lot of human suffering could be mitigated if humans didn't exist. And I'm like, okay, well, well lo- logically, okay. it's very hard to disagree. Most of what makes us upset is is done by others of us, Yes, shall we say. And the problem is it's also very hard to have a conversation or sue your parents if you don't exist. Yes. Yes. Thus also, rendering the whole enterprise... If he... I mean, there are countless infinite numbers of people who haven't been born right yes so the odds are stacked in their favor one can, massively. One can only imagine that they are very happy <laughs> i have a question please oh, okay what you in the back so yeah you <laughs> there you there um <laughs> Get sitting on the child table what will he win if he wins this death case? surely um, death is the only option yeah. Will his parents give him more money than they already have? He claims to get on quite well with his parents. Oh, fuck off. He says, like, I have a good relationship with my parents. I just, at the same time... I am all for seeing things from someone else's point of view. I really am. <laughs> I but, oh my God, I can't get my like, head help, here. Help me. <laughs> help me help you. Like... Help me bridge the gap between yeah. you and me. Jesus. I mean, it sounds like a horrible thing to say, but like if he's that unhappy existing... Yeah, like, I know what you're going to say. There's yeah. a way out of this. Yeah. And it's not it's not anyone else's problem. It's cheaper as well. Unless he's like, <laughs> unless he's more like, I was happy. Like, I've come from beyond the veil. Like, I was happy in the blissful non-existence of the anti-void. And now you've dragged me and trapped me in mortal flesh for 70 years. And I'm just going to have to sit it out. This smelly meat mech. That like you, now... You've inconvenienced me by, by trapping me in a smelly meat mech. <laughs> smelly meat mech. Smelly Meat Meg. Got his first album. <laughs> Good artist. Um, I can't say I can't any, fathom that. I can't... It's, it's actually conceptually beyond me. Yes. I, I can't find a way to get to a, a, a standpoint that I can argue from. Yeah. Like, somehow he's managed to stand at a point before his birth to argue from. And I can't get there, not only for myself, but or, or for him either. So I can't say he either la- way. You lack the capability, be, capability sorry, to be asked to be born or not. 
Yeah, mm. exactly. Therefore, the just, it's a moot point. It out. It's a moot fucking point. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway, there was a film. There was a film about it, and I just said something actually reasonably intelligent. Well, I was going to say oh, this. Good, this, this yeah, let's shine a light on that. Let's talk about that. This is the kind of debate. That's about me. What do you think about me? An A-level philosophy class would actually uh, bring up. Maybe, yeah. Well, they probably will in future years. And I love how go. we got from a hipster baby's billboard to this. Hipster, hipster baby billboard. Hipster baby billboard. I love their second album as well. Yeah, that okay. was a yeah, difficult second album. That it was. So anyway, but... I think we can all agree. Spare your kids having to be cool or not. Just let them wear a pillowcase. Yes. Let, let them shit in a pillowcase. Just let them shit in a pillowcase. Like I did, and I turned out great. We've all yeah. shat in a pillowcase. I do have like, a rash. You know. We've all been there. Yeah, I've got permanent rash. Yeah, it's weird, like actually. a big rash. Yeah. What do you love, Nick? I love being able to have uh, the option to eat from multiple different plates at once. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, only the option. <laughs> like, you never um, do. It's, <laughs> a, it's a rare pleasure. I have standards and I never... I like, would never do it. Are you saying you like buffets? Oh, I definitely love buffets. I, love I, believe, buffet. I believe he's describing a buffet. But but, but I'm not exclusively describing a buffet, because the problem with the buffet is, and here, here's a very Tell me more. stupid <laughs> point that okay. we're about to make. Oh, wow, yeah. No. If you take your plate to a buffet, you have one plate, right? Shh, and oh. you, you load many, many different things upon to that plate, upon to... A ponte. You know a that ponte. phrase? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you come back Sh- to your Shakespeare table coin, though, and you yeah. have <laughs> one plate with many different things upon it. Now, this is not my point. My ah. point is I like having multiple different receptacles in front of me that contain different parts of foods, right? So, for example, tapas is a good example of this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With you so far. Or let's say you went to a McDonald's of some kind. Other fast food places are available. Oh, yeah. uh, and They're you've got a burger shit. and you've got chips and then you've also got a side of some chicken pieces and you also got some onion wings and you also... Wings? Onion wings? Onion wings. <laughs> you got some you onion have, wings. You've got a speech impediment. <laughs> you've got some onion wings and some onion rings as well. <laughs> okay. And now... And some chicken rings. Now you have like... <laughs> like six receptacles in front of you sure. yeah and you don't just have to eat from the one receptacle you can take a bite of your burger put that down maybe eat yeah. an onion wing so... whatever that is put that down <laughs> then maybe take a bite from a chicken strip this so... is inc- this is like the greatest luxury man can that have that sounds expensive so, so Nick I've, yes. I, Nick, yeah. I've followed you on this journey I've listened to your sermons I've bought the robes it. but you're handing me a cup of some suspect juice now and I'm mm. hesitant to drink <laughs> it so if I'm gonna okay, if I'm, I'm gonna force it down if, I'm, throat, gonna, if I'm gonna accompany you on this journey beyond the void this is what I want um, <laughs> work with me here. Like, if you bought or or cooked, dare say, one meal, yes, could you simulate the experience by literally just putting every aspect of a meal on a different plate? I have done this. Does it taste better? It's it's a better experience for me. <laughs> Can like, you get a plate that's like made of different, like six triangles? Seg- not good enough. And you just separate it's them still out like one that. vessel. <laughs> <A> trivial pursuit. <laughs> Trivial pursuit of plates. Yeah, I'll take that plate and I'll smash it on the ground until it splits into multiple plates, and then I'll super glue it back together. You're a bastard. (laughs) Are you not just describing a microwave meal? Yeah, you. Yeah, you are. No, I'm just segmenting a China. You can, you can get made of six cents. Making it out of China doesn't hide the inherent shame of having your food portioned. I mean, it boxes. makes it, it makes He's it fancy. He's the one who's portioning food. <laughs> Why are you getting at let's, me? Let's focus on Chris. He's <laughs> being weird. Because <laughs> I have no respect for him. You're redeemable. <laughs> what? No, That's the switch up for this dynamic, I think. <laughs> what? You've been sold us both in 15 seconds. <laughs> You're my project. This is Pygmalion. We're working on it. Oh, that is true. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, um, okay, but... I shot right. in a pillowcase when I was a baby. <laughs> but... If you had all these plates with different, oh, it's just a dream job. As you say, it, it just sounds amazing. So you're like, oh, this is lovely, love it. And then mm. I, I pick up two of those plates. You and don't I've got really the get peas and I've got king. mashed potatoes. You're taking my plates away. And uh, no, they're near. They're just hovering. Okay. And I'm like, Nick, you enjoy the meal? It's I great. Yeah. And then I, I tip one what? onto the other, and you're like, oh. My enjoyment is slightly less, but thankfully I've still got so, two other what, plates. Well, what you've done then is created this sort of mashed potato peas combo, which yes. might be interesting in and of itself, but you have decreased my total plate count by one. Okay. So the, so pla- the, the whether quantity the pl- of food remains utterly the same. Quantity of food is not the issue. It's the number of split plates that, okay. that so, I get it on. So you get off on inconvenience is what you're saying. Well, inconvenience for someone else to wash those plates. Yes, oh, yeah, a lot of washing yeah. out. I see. Yeah, or dishwasher. I got a dishwasher. Yeah, me too. It's, awesome. saver. it's so good for this particular yeah. aspect of my life. Yeah. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Okay. I very much enjoy a kind of meal, which is like a bit of that. It's yeah. just the best. I like some olives. I, I think like, it's the best way like, to eat. Like a bit of artisanal meat. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Freshly carved prosciutto. Ooh. Yeah, you know? nice, of, yeah. A bit of ooh. Ooh. salami. Ooh. A bit of salami on there. Give me here. Give me here, yeah. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. It's lovely. 
See, see, see the Japanese way. Mm. You get all these little. You've been bowls. to Japan, have you? I have actually been to Japan. 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 I, you never mentioned I that. I don't know if I've never mentioned that before. Let me get into it. I might. You're a strain. I've been to Japan. Good God. And they do like little bowls. So you get a little bowl of rice, little bowl of like onion wings, you know, <laughs> little little bits, <laughs> little bits of bobs. And they all come out and, and it, okay. bit of this, bit of that. Go for, oh, I'll have some rice for a okay. bit. Oh, I'll put that down now. You're sitting mm. in a fancy Japanese restaurant. Oh, man. And I'm the excited. waiter has just brought over six dishes and each one has something different in it. Bit of rice, bit of peas, bit of some beans, some, some, edam- some edamame. It doesn't Ooh. sound very posh, does it? <laughs> The peas, rice, nice. peas, and beans. <laughs> They're very nice, though. Some edamame. Oh, what's that? Some wagyu beef. Oh, you know. love that. And then you, as a philistine, take each of these six little bowls. You upend them. I wouldn't do into this. Into your big fat American no, I plate. Do that. <laughs> I would not do this. What are you saying? <laughs> Onto your big fat American plate, and you're like, look at that. I've got a mountain of food, and everyone in this fancy restaurant is like, <gasps> exactly. Gas. Would I wouldn't yeah. do that. The America. This is why the Americans are wrong. He's saying the opposite of this. Right. No, but my <laughs> John, no, John's trying to challenge no, me. No, but the food is exactly the same. I know. Quality. Oh, but the no, pleasure. No, the pleasure. No, the pleasure. Oh, you had me, John, until that. Oh, look at this. I've got a convert. Okay, the opposite. You go into a fancy French restaurant. You start separating food. Yes, and you go. Wow, what a lovely beef. Bourguignon. Bourguignon. I don't know what that is. Bo- bo- it's probably ham. Bourguignon. What a lovely beef bourguignon. <laughs> I think that's ham. And you reach beef into your bag <laughs> and you take <laughs> out my... six uh, porcelain saucers. Sure. And you lay them out on the table and you start ladling out mm. the beef bourguignon <laughs> into little portions. If I could do that without compromising the temperature of the overall meal. Right. Because that's also an important thing, obviously. Okay. I would probably enjoy the whole experience more, yes. Yeah. I have respect for the way a <laughs> chef prepares a meal. Okay, yes. A chef has that intended is for me true. to eat it in this manner. Yes. It's not that I won't eat food that comes oh, on one plate. You'll just present well, every minute. I will present <laughs> every, every we're, minute. <laughs> we're going out after this. And I'm going to order not as many. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to look at you while you're eating. Because <laughs> I'll know... Even though your soup and your noodles can be one bowl, I'm not enjoying it as much as I can. Oh, can I have a sieve, please? Can I <laughs> have a colander? Yeah. Oh, if they brought a colander slash sieve to the table, I would be very happy. <laughs> it's like pouring over the table. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Eating it out of my pockets. Oh, God. Wow. Now you know. Well, yeah, I'm glad. I'm not ashamed. Do you ever feel you should be? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but I don't. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> but I don't end up feeling it. It's I great. Mean, it's hard what to, a feeling. It's hard to disagree, but. I just feel like it unravels so quickly. Like mm. if we, it doesn't. If you adamantly and potentially belligerently <laughs> stick to your at the point, risk of, <laughs> at the risk of alienating everyone you know. Yeah, yeah. If if you sort of without any sort of evidence or backup or sort of context, you just stick to the single point, then it's fine. And that's worked for me for like thirty-two years. Oh wow! Yeah, gonna stick to it. So. Well, Godspeed. Oh wait, right. I think I'm thirty-three actually. Oh, oh well, anyway. Oh no. What do you love? Oh well. What do you um, love? All right, you joyless fuck. <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> Do you really love anything? No. Um, well, you'll you'll see. Um, well, it was pointed out to me before we started recording this evening that uh, we had some loves and hates from our audience. <gasps> oh, oh. So with that in mind, I'm going to do one of my own. Oh. Oh. I my love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Showboating. My love is a recommendation. Oh. Sort oh, of. Oh. Okay. Way. Okay. Now, oh, I've been watching Netflix. Oh, I know that. Which mm. is a popular streaming service it on is. the internet. I know it well. Net internet flicks. Of many a night. Oh, that flicks like movies. Net yes. flicks. After many, Never, isn't it? After many evening when I've finished playing Fortnite <laughs> with the teenagers, I do enjoy logging into Netflix. Net. Oh, fuck. No, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Face, face flicks. Face flicks. Um, other streaming services are available. Well, apparently. But yeah, barely. barely. I've been watching, over the last week or so, a Netflix original. Original? <gasps> there are some of those. Some of those. It's called You. Who? You. Me. Oh. Not you. Oh. Him. You. Me. Specifically you. <laughs> you, though. Okay, me, then. It's called You. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about a romantic story. Mm. Or is it? <gasps> oh, it's about it? it's about a stalker oh. who is stalking, but it's told from his point of view. So he's the protagonist. Oh, <laughs> the protagonist. And he narrates it as well. It's like if JD was a violent stalker. Okay, so ah. he works in a bookshop as all good stalkers do. Um, <laughs> John worked the... in a bookshop for a while. Exactly. Oh, well, he's right. No, uh, 
<laughs> and he, he works in a bookshop and the girl comes in I won't spoil it too much actually I worked in a bookshop for a while there you okay, go yeah. um, and what? the girl comes in and he begins looking her up on Facebook and finding oh, out where she lives creepo. and all this and, and he starts like finding out about her and the people that surround her and inserting himself into her life mm, right um, it's brilliant Cool. And I normally wouldn't like shows like this because it's a lot of jump scares and things like that. Oh, is it? It's oh, like a right. thriller. It's oh, like cool. a thriller. Um, and it's ten episodes, and we watch the pilot, and at the end of the pilot, he murders her boyfriend. He goes Jesus. from stalking her on Facebook, spoilers, he goes from that to murdering her boyfriend in the first episode. And this is a total fiction? This isn't based on a true story? This is a book, a fictional book. Right, right, right. Uh, that's been made into a TV show. And we're on episode eight of ten now. Wow. And it is intense. Wow. So if you do get a chance to watch it, I would recommend it. I haven't even seen that come up on my Netflix. I, I, I've seen a trailer for it. Yeah, oh, it's really, really good. Yeah. It's really good. Because t- there's times and you know he's the bad guy, essentially. This His name's Joe, the main character. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has a basement where he keeps all his books, like his original copies, and it has to be at a certain temperature and all this. And that's essentially where he keeps his prisoners oh. as the oh. series develops. Oh, um, oh dear. And at one point, he's got a little kid who's his mate who lives in the same block of flats as him. And the little kid's going down the stairs to the basement just to check out some books on his own. And you, as the audience member, are thinking, no, no, don't go down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you should be thinking, yes, yes, go down there. there. Oh, my God, that's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes makes you sympathise with him. Yeah. Because he's for... Protagon- he's the protagonist. Protagonist. The dark of yeah. So it's interesting the, the way your mind works mm. while watching it, and you yeah. think, "No, I shouldn't be." You're weirdly this. rooting for him. You're but... rooting. You're rooting for them, like this. Like like a... This girl. You're rooting for them, even though you know it's he's not going to end well, and he is a he's a total yeah. monster. That's really fascinating. And the narration yeah. of it is him justifying his actions in his head, and it's really good. It's just really good. Wow. Interesting to watch. Yes, that's cool. So there you go. That's a recommendation Fair if play. you're struggling for something to watch. On a uh, evening, I would recommend giving you on Netflix. Again. So it's spelled Y O U. Y O U. Okay. You. Me. Not you. No, two oh, U's. John. Two U's. Y O U. You. E W. Y O U R means your. It does. You okay, know. cool. Is that the sequel? Also you. You no. and yours. And also his. And you as in a sheep. But the main character is not you. Is a sheep. In it's fact. him. Oh, him. Oh. But you. You. You go. Me, myself, and Irene. You go. You that is to say, your love. As in you. Who's on first? You, your love. <laughs> I love uh, an opportunity to wear a good suit. Oh, my. Oh. I'm putting it out there. Oh. Does this relate to your event yesterday? Uh, yesterday, yes. So I, I was at a, a, a corporate event at work, which I referred to earlier in the podcast. Uh, it was a long day. It was 11 hours. But... Shit. Uh, Days are normally 24, so that's quite a short day, really. Actually, yeah, yeah, under half. And, I mean, mostly it was spent screaming as the earth sped up. Yeah. But uh, I I got to wear a suit all day. Lovely. And uh, It was was the suit you wore at your wedding It was the suit I wore at my wedding. That you had especially tailored for you. Indeed, yes, I believe you two were involved. It definitely wasn't the first suit we found when we were helping you suit shop. Definitely wasn't. Absolutely out of the question. No, and I I think... And we definitely did not go to the pub. No. No. It was a nice burger, Out of though. the question. No, no. no it, it's, it's a very good suit. And uh, I got to wear a uh, proper shirt. Nice comfy shirt. Nice. There was a time in my life where I absolutely hated wearing a smart shirt. Me too. I, did, I just felt kind of like throttled by it. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I hate it's it. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this one has, um, it even has a cufflink holes Lovely. if you will oh. so I put on some cheap cufflinks oh yeah good some old. awesome lovely cheap glad, glad you added the word cheap into this yeah. <laughs> well I, I think uh, I didn't want the expensive ones they were like little um, they, they looked like playing cards and I was like oh that'll be a little bit of humour for me yes. and myself if yes. someone asks I can say I'm a hustler but I got to wear a, a three and you could put, like get a card to come out your sleeve like that You could they could look at the cuffling and go oh it's like the four of clubs and then the cuffling disappears and the ace of clubs uh, four of clubs not the ace <laughs> That would be awful. (laughs) The four of clubs pops out of your sleeve and then you go... (gasps) And then look behind you and on the wall, printed in massive letters, is an advert for hipster babies. For hipster babies. And then when they're driving home, (laughs) the four of clubs lands on their windscreen and they crash and they in a horrible accident. And they die. And they die. But then when they're cut open, you look inside their body. The four of clubs is in there. (laughs) And then like, you know, there's a smouldering wreckage of their car and the camera very slowly to an ominous... Baseline starts moving down the road. It's like the like D on just holding down D, and then and then it, and then it, and then it pans. There's a figure, and it's me. And I go. You're holding the four of clubs. And I go, Shazam. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, and then I disappear. And, and then you, you walk yeah. just slightly to the left, and you're arrested by a police yeah. officer. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're already you're already in cuffs. <laughs> okay. Shiz- oh no, <laughs> Shizel, no. <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's it. I like wearing suits. I love wearing yeah. suits. In yeah, I, I also you. used to not like wearing them. It makes me feel fancy. And, and also, I love it. because because I was wearing a three piece suit, I had, I had a waistcoat. Mm. I had to assemble a uh, a uh, kind of display board mm. at one point in the day, and I was like, "Well, I am wearing a suit, but I think the jacket's coming off." And that's what's great about uh, a three piece. And then suddenly, I'm a man assembling a display board in in a in a waistcoat and you know suit, and and I, I, I you know I think we can all agree it's a really powerful thing mm. a three piece suit. I feel because like you can take the jacket off. And you're still really fancy. Oh, yeah. Very fancy. But now yeah. you now you're now you're doing stuff. Like now you now you're like a man of action. Mm. Like well, I've I've got to put some stuff on the wall. It's time for the jacket to come yeah. off. But I'm no less fancy. I'm just no doing less business fancy. now. But at your wedding, John, mm, you'll, indeed, you'll yes. recall, um, Nick and I were two of your three best men. Mm. We were indeed. And yeah. we agreed as best men that we would take our jackets off for the speech. And you'll notice on the photos it's us with our sleeves rolled up. Because mm. we were like, right, this uh, is our look for the speech. Because we're getting down to and serious. I have to, yeah. say, I have to say, you all looked fantastic. I was very yeah. jealous, actually, because you guys all had really nice shirts. And I was slightly jealous of your shirt. Oh, you had a different shirt, didn't you? I needed because oh, you needed cufflinks. I needed a shirt that would allow for cufflinks. And finding like a blue, yeah, because it needed to be dark blue. Cufflink enabled shirt was almost impossible. It was a nightmare. Yeah, so mine was not quite as nice. I didn't notice. I don't think it was noticeable. No, no. I mean, I mean, I need to now you're it. mentioning it. I remember wearing it was actually fine. You looked like garbage, but... but I remember looking at you guys. God, you look good. Yeah, we did look. We great. all looked amazing. Yeah, we looked incredible. Yeah, I think, on I that think day. we were pretty sweet. I was uh, somebody at work today after the big event yesterday. Uh, we were chatting on the phone, and I said because I've only ever interacted with them over phone and by email, and I said, "Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't get the chance to say hello." Or, or be introduced in person yesterday at the event because mm. apparently they were there. I don't know what they looked like. Oh, no. And they said, no worries. By the way, you looked very dapper in your suit. And I'm like, oh. that's creepy. That's super creepy. That's but like it, but it's, it's kind of cool but creepy because I'm kind of like, well, I did. I think we can both agree. Yeah. But <laughs> and you said that. <laughs> I don't know what you look like, but you clearly know what I look like because you yeah. saw me in a suit. Which shows that you made a bigger statement than they did mm. with what you chose to wear. Well done. You, you won that. Yes, you won I, I won that social engagement. On winning, yeah, yeah. On winning suit. Every, One nil to you. Every interaction is a competition. Yeah, as a sportsman would say. One up and shit. So, how do we feel? Hungry. On the general consensus yeah. of, well, needing to eat, but also, what won? Love or hate? Oh. I feel like, uh, I feel I like hate it. Hmm, I might skew more towards... Love, because the hates were very entertaining, mm. but I feel the loves were all well-meaning. I feel like we had some powerful, deep discussions mm. in the hate department, it was good which, at, although yeah. negatively founded, ended up maybe changing the world. Well, I think someone is the swing vote over here. Hey. Of course oh, it is. Oh, great. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Don't have to justify myself. No. It's no, a show that... called Hate, not a show called Ambivalence. Oh, well, who, who's... that would be a good name for it. So yeah. great. Well, we keep saying yeah, the spin-off show, but okay. Well, who um who who, who would like, who would like a little spot um soapbox to uh, share their feelings? I think it should be Christopher. Ray. I'll do it. Yeah, come on. What would you like me to talk about? The soapbox doesn't ask for opinions. Oh, all right. Well, uh, all right. You should just... say anything. This, this is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. Take your moment. Okay. Well, I was cycling the other day. Oh God. Right. And I, I told you about this because I texted you. Yes. I was cycling down the road. Okay. Woman's looking right at me. Yeah. She's looking right at me. Steps out. I, I, as a as a conscientious person, have to then stop because you can't run people over. Well. Anymore. I mean, in some. Not society, after the last time. Not in this politically correct society. Stop Am I right? right? And I end up my handlebar ends up tapping someone's wing mirror because I've stopped and lost my balance. Uh. The first episode of this show we ever did. I said people lack self-awareness. Yeah. Some people don't. Some people have self-awareness. They're just fucking arseholes. The end.
Carry on, John. Get some silence. John. Oh, some silence. That's oh, right. silence. Just well, fill the silence with noise. We'll do that now. Bit of audio. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God help you. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't so handsome, I'd throw you out. <laughs> beautiful. <fuck>. You beautiful <laughs> bastard. <laughs>